What's up, Paxers? Today we're taking a look at the ESP32 Touchdown from Dustin Watts. I know, it just looks like a black box. Let's get it open! We've got a piece of styrofoam. An informational sheet. ESP32 Touchdown. This is some information, uh, presumably scannable via the QR code, that we'll take a look at on the website in a second. Let's get it out of the box. Oh. Nice padding. Also, I love how this came with a golden dot sticker on it, which kind of matches the aesthetic of the board from what I've seen. But I haven't actually opened this yet. Oh, oh I don't want to touch that screen. Oh, very shiny. This thing is so cool. It's got a 3.5 inch 480 by 320 pixel resolution TFT display, and it has a capacitive touch controller as well. These little perforated plated holes are so pretty. But besides its looks, we've got a JST LiPo battery connector, which it does have charging and battery management. So you can just plug a battery in, plug this into USB-C, and it'll charge the battery, whether it's turned on or off. And once you unplug the USB, then it'll start running off the battery seamlessly. You don't have to worry about it turning off or anything in between. Ah, really nice battery management on here from what I've read. It's got a micro SD card slot. You've got your ESP32 here. And any GPIO pins that aren't used by the rest of the components on the board are broken out here. So you've got 12 GPIO pins as well. Then you have a Stemma I squared C connector right here. You've got a piezo speaker so that you can do little audio alerts and stuff, an on off switch. And this thing is not only programmable, there's a bunch of examples on GitHub that you can tweak and upload to here, but also it's hardware reconfigurable. So for example, there's a charging LED and you can disable that LED by desoldering this connection here. Likewise, there's a power on LED and you can disable that by desoldering this one. So cool. This is designed for Dustin's free touch deck project, which you can also find on GitHub. And it should come preloaded with it as well. So let's plug it in and give it a go. Oh, the power LED has come on. Oh, it made a little noise. And there we have it. You should be able to use this to control your computer once you plug it in. Let's see what happens when we push one of these. Let's go to sleep. Oh, it makes a noise. Inflammation. Ooh, version 0.9.13, sleep enabled, sleep timer 10 minutes, speaker enabled, free storage 753.75 kilobytes, etc. Ah, cool. BLE keyboard version 1.2. I'll have to explore that later. Touch it again and it goes away. Home page and settings page. There's some interesting information about the brightness control on the Tindy page too, if you want to check that out. Now let's take a look at the website. Check out ESP32touchdown.com for the full lowdown on the touchdown. As you can see, it's based on an ESP32 WROOM 32D microcontroller, and everything we just talked about is on here. Also, you can buy it from multiple places, but on the Tindy page, I've noticed that you can find this diagram with everything labeled. I also noticed that he labeled this part the dude button, which is a reference to something else that has come up recently in a video I did for SparkFun. Read the article for more on that. Let's check out the GitHub. For free touch deck, there's lots of information on using it with the ESP32 touchdown, using the software that's pre-installed, using the configurator, and even a 3D printable case. This looks so slick. Thanks so much, Dustin, for sending us this. It's a really beautiful little piece of technology, and it seems to have just enough features without being huge and while being able to run off of a small LiPo battery. I think I'm going to try and get it running on solar. That's it for me. Let us know what you would use it for in the comments. And as always, hack on.